Michael Schenkerfest with Resurrection, 12 tracks, 52 minutes, the first album from this leg legendary guitarist under this moniker, released March 2018 via Nuclear Blast, produced by Michael Voschon. Uh, so far, two promo tracks have been released, Warrior and Heart and Soul. This one has a who's who of uh, past and guest spots all over it, far too many to actually mention. A large portion of this tour was also written by Voschon. So, mm. go wow. for it. Uh, great songwriting, performances, and production. <clears throat> this album sounds great whether you're listening to it on headphones or for a shitty phone speaker. Uh, <laughs> Kurt Hammett is guest on the first song, yeah. Heart and Soul. Yeah. Now, I know people like the shit on his playing these days, but during the trade-off solos in that song, I could not tell who was who. Nah. He is so fucking good. He's got the chops. Uh, song else, the song on this album is just win-win. Usually an album will have a weaker moment here or two, but this is just consistently good music throughout. I really enjoyed listening to this. Uh, the guitar solos just grab your focus and get gets you to pay attention. It's like little songs within the song. Yeah. Uh, it, I think it will appear to um, appeal to old school, early '80s metal fans, fans of Rainbow and Theo's um, fronted Black Sabbath. Overall, I gave it eight and a half out of ten. Um, Heart and Soul, Warrior, Take Me to the Church, The Girl with the Stars in Her Eyes, and the Instrumental Salvation. Mm, nice. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this as well. I thought um, Heart and Soul was a, a really kick-ass mm. way to open an album. It, yeah. Like you said, it didn't grab you straight away, but it, yeah. it grabbed me straight person. away. Yeah. yeah. Um, had a bit of everything here. He still had that touch of the neoclassical stuff, which, yeah. you know, he's done classic hard rock, and then it gets really metal at times as well. I thought the use of three different vocalists that was, was cool. really interesting. Yeah. And it was amazing how sort of seamlessly the, the album still goes together. And they trade off in his channel. Yeah, yeah it, was cool. it worked really well. Um, guitar solos, obviously a standout. They're it's always going to be, you. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. If it's a Shinker album that does have decent <laughs> guitar solos, there's nothing wrong. It's gone grunge. Um, I thought really good production. <laughs> nothing overpowering. Um, they haven't reinvented anything here, no. but it's still a really, really strong release. I also gave it 8.5 out of 10. Highlights were Heart and Soul, Time Knows When It's Time, Everest, and Salvation. Well, as we were saying before, off of camera, I was saying that the first listen didn't grab me, but mm. as I went back to it again, it's like, okay, no, cool. mm. I get on the second listen. Cue the blistering guitar work, expect no less. Mm -hmm. Now, it was funny you mentioned the Kirk Hammett stuff because I too couldn't pick up on yeah. what sort of thing. All the people like to bash Kirk Hammett shouldn't mm. listen to that track you mm. mentioned before. Yeah. Uh, production's pretty good overall. Everything is nicely captured and layered. I just find it a bit too tight for my tastes. Just, it's mm. very, very tight. Um, they really could have opened it up a bit wider and made this sound truly epic. I think it was mm. just a... With music like this, they could have gone big and they mm. just went for, we'll box it in. I would have liked to have been big. The varying the vocalist works really well on this. Mm. It's very smoothly done. The vocals are a really good counterpoint to all the guitar work in here. It prevents the record from becoming stale in that regard. Some cool groove on this as well. It would have been really easy for them just to blaze away mm. and make this all about, you know, a guitar-centric album kind of thing. But the more you listen to it, the further away from that notion, which is what I was tying into before, the mm. further away from it being guitar-centric mm. you go, the more you listen to this album. Some seriously well-written stuff on here. And I love the lyrical craft on this as well. Good and well-done stories in the songs. And of course you get the guitar work. There's mm. riffs and solos for days. There is much more to this one though. Now, I love the layering applied to the little things like the synth that really flesh out the sound mm. nicely. And again, the overall sound could have been a bit more punchy, but it does a good enough job to be a good listen. Doesn't take away from it at all. Nice diversity in track order, not a one trick pony, which is good as well for a band like this. I think the Wolf Hoffman album we did a little while ago, I don't know if you've checked it out, mm. um, but it's fucking good. That's more to my taste. It's more classical based, mm. but this is good though. Like This just grows new. It's a good listen. And again, the changing vocalist is one, mm. is one of those things that just makes you, it's not about the guitar all the time mm. kind of thing. It makes you sort of sit back and take notice when they change over and it gives everything a different flavor, which is yeah. really cool. I wonder if anyone else, which is probably going to be wrong, had any points where it felt just a bit generic. Did, yeah, yeah. That's, no. that's that's probably the problem with it. If anything, yeah, so you said it's you kind of feel like you've heard it. Yeah, but it's still really good. It's still good. good. Well, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. it's not a big thing. It's just little mm. moments here and there. Where I felt that it was just this has mm. been done before, kind mm. of thing. It was not nothing wrong with it. It was just mm. something I noted on. Some nice hooks on there, though, which was surprising considering mm. it's a guitar centric sort of uh, and riff driven album. And some nice just different flavors, styles, and tones help to break things up. Going with the sparing approach with regard to the instrumentals, mm. they space them out nicely is a good touch as well. In the end, if you want a hard rock to metal uh, album built around riffs, melody, and solos, you're really going to enjoy this. A little dash is that European sense of pop are in this as well. Mm. It works really well. Just a little touch of things in the composition, that's all it is. Just a hint of the 80s, which is nicely mm. done about it as well. Nice artwork too for the record. Mm. Simple but effective. Did the job. Eight and a half out of ten. Anchors away. Salvation instrumental. Uh, take me to the church. Time knows when it's time in the Last Supper. So there's a few there. Mm. Check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think. Sweet.